are traveling uh, Arthur Harway. So from Hobart, it's about an hour and 30 minutes to Port Arthur. So we are going today for the Port Arthur historic site with guided tour and um, harbor cruise package. Arthur Harway at the moment. So look and see, look at the view. So it's a lots of farm as you drive past the place. It's so look at that ahead of us. What is that, honey? <laughs> sheep. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> That's a sheep. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's there. He's making fun. Yeah, we'll have long drives. So we hired a car from Apex Car Rentals to explore Tasmania. Yeah. Seafood restaurant. That's cute. That one there. That's you. That's what you put in earlier. Oh. Lavender farm, I think. Port Arthur. <laughs> Historic site. That's where we are. Two minutes away. There'll be no tourist car in front. There's more. I think we park up here, I think. Let's go there first. Oh, you go down the bottom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we can tour around. We're not in a rush. The cars are coming around, see? They're coming around. There's nothing down the bottom. Yeah. Should we go on level two? Uh, yeah. Oh, oops. Are at Port Arthur Historic Site now. Ready to explore. Waiting to get our tickets. So, you know. Reception. 8 Gallery, there's a little area, souvenir area. You can look at there's a cup. Yeah. Well, takeaway coffee and another toilet set and more souvenir to see the gallery.
I'm at that Mabel to fill. Touristy parts here, so that's where we are. Ready? Going. Last spot. Oops. Your harbour crew. Most of you should be booked onto one. You can see the big white boat, the lovely Marana. Make sure you get down there about five or ten minutes before the time on your tickets. Uh, that's when the boat heads off. Uh, there's toilets at the jetty, food, drinks, toilets on board. You don't have to look that way because you'll be looking straight at the sun, but directly behind you guys, on the other side of the road, is a large hedge. Uh, in behind the hedge is the memorial garden uh, for 1996 if anyone would like to visit. Uh, if anyone's not sure what I'm talking about, uh, you're more than welcome to have a chat with me at the end. And I'd also like to acknowledge the Paitarame people, uh, the original custodians of the land. The after was established here 1830, ran for 47 years, closed 1877. What that means is it's been here far longer as a tourist attraction uh, than it ever was as a prison. But as you can see, they've left a very strong legacy behind. Of course, what you are looking at is just a fraction of what was once here. Uh, 30 buildings and ruins today at its peak closer to 200. So that hill was absolutely covered in buildings and Port Arthur was a thriving industrial settlement. Its peak thought to be 1842, 12 to 1400 yeah, convicts and over 2000 people living here. Pretty hard to imagine isn't it? Uh, take a step back to 1830, there were 30 convicts, half as many soldiers, a single commanding officer, John Russell. So very different. Why were they here? They were here for the trees. Trees like the enormous eucalypts on the far point. Have a look at the height of those trees, have a look at their girth. Why wouldn't you get excited? Who's excited? <laughs> no one. <coughs> ah, what's wrong with you? Captain Welsh was, he was here three years earlier, and it was on his recommendation that Port Arthur was set up as a timber camp. They spent the first three years clearing the land, harvesting the timber, sending it to Hobart for building an export. And if we think about the timber gang for a second, I think we can all agree it'd be pretty brutal. You'd be in leg iron, which could weigh up to 18 kilograms. Imagine trying to walk around with those today. You'd be chained to everyone in your group. Head out, fell the trees when they're down. That's when you're lining up either side, hoisting them on your shoulders, carrying them back to the settlement. Absolutely backbreaking work. And if we just have a look at this little group as our own timber gang, just have a look around, see who you think will be doing most of the work. Then we might have it over here. Welcome to Amy's Quest. You are looking at Port Arthur Historic Site at the moment. So we are heading to the penitentiary for the introductory tour. Let's see how we go. So that's our gun. Here. So you get this. One person each. Mm. Mm. Look how small. Mm. You gotta fit in there. <laughs> So the toilet area, they had fireplaces, shelters, 
the far end, where they drift in some of the windows, uh, that's the space house in the kitchen. You'll see everything in the oven. That's him there. Alright, let's go. workshops and let's go we're going up following we're going to workshop to the officers gardens so for that reason even in a male prison there were a few female convicts who were stationed in the office uh, of the houses you can get two. The first one is the orange house, closest to the church, the Reverend's house. There's your decent one. Lit, see this is a good one. Uh, the Reverend Durham, the one that hated the Catholics and caused all the problems, he was up there as well. If you want to see a picture of the Reverend at the pulpit, make sure you have a look at the house. He's doing the convicts for theirs. That's great, doesn't it? Now you thought for your comfortable person. Are they going to make you feel comfortable? Generally not going to be soundproof, are they? You're going to hear every word the Reverend has to say. That's not going to be pretty. When you're up there, have a look at the... One's the church up there. I was talking about... I'll try and go in there. Uh, this. Trent them. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Press. Ooh, we cannot go in anyway, so that's the room. That's the glass to protect and preserve. Dining. And exit, you can exit. So the introductory tour is finished, so we are allowed to do our own tour now. So that's a closer look of, yeah, what is it? Which way? the ruins of the church <laughs> of course these are is the traveling bells yeah. is that missing one AD 1836 away. Nice walkway. Just a government cottage, this one. And that's there. Well, this is the secret guard. No secret anymore. <laughs> The original garden and uh, so you can see a fountain in the middle Canadian cottage going in there but yeah <laughs> 
you will. This is so Okay, that's a good thing. Yeah, take it here. Thank you. Okay. You're here? For Harbor Cruise, man. Men would be put to hard labor, gathering raw materials, and other men would be put to task making things from those raw materials, or rather always had an industrial side. Now, the most plentiful of the military portions are a few foundations and frames. This is all that remains of what is quite a large establishment. Those are the buildings that stone and brick foundations of the underparts were made out of timber. When they abandoned the Also on any given day, there would be traffic to and from around the harbour. The commandant may be travelling over Point Pool, on his duty, the captain may be travelling over Point Pool, the north part of the settlement. You might see two long boats, one with a crew of wine, that would be highly thin towed, and there would be a coffin in that. That was a very part of its way to the world of the dead. We'll head back on shore shortly, folks. And on behalf of the captain, I wish you an interesting and pleasant day. Thank you. View that one. This one's called the Guard Tower. There you go. Guard Tower. Let me go up first. <laughs> okay. View of you. This would be the view of the tower, the guard tower. Look how amazing that view is. So after the tower is this. Let's keep walking up. More residents. <laughs> Ooh. Military officer's cottage. Senior military officer. no <laughs> break. Must be cold. Look at the garden of that's the commandant's house. So the commandant's outbuildings. Service quarters. This one. Uh, this Service. is the one, yeah. Brittle bank. It's got its own garden. Ah, oh, they're fixing it. <laughs> Some of us. Hello and welcome to Amy's Quest. At the moment, we are at the Port Arthur Historic Site. An exciting day for adventure. And yes, I hope that you like this video. If you're new to my channel, forget to subscribe, click that bell icon for you to get notifications for new video uploads and share this video.